Luc Gervais, with one drop diagnostics. Das Thema ist immer, wenn, wenn Sie etwas analysieren wollen mit diesen Blutentnahmen, dass Sie sehr viel Blut lassen müssen. Es gibt Leute, die haben Angst vor diesen Spritzen, die das Blut abziehen. Und hier kommt Luc und er hat für uns alle eine Lösung. You're gonna do it in English, right? Yes. So you're Canadian? Yes, I am. But he speaks Chinese, so he's quite a cool guy. <laughs> Thank you very much for the kind introduction. Uh, I'm Luc Gervais, founder and CEO of OneDrop Diagnostics, and I'm very happy to be here today to present to you our company. But first of all, I'd like to introduce you to Fred. Fred is an investment banker. He works in Zurich. He has a very stressful lifestyle. He doesn't do a lot of sports. He smokes. Uh, he works very late hours, and he eats very poorly. He tends to like to order things into work so he can work later. One day, the uh, euro decides to go down at its lowest point ever, and that caused a very bad uh, feeling for the heart of Fred. So the ambulance was called, and the paramedics came to the bank, and they had to carry Fred out of his office on a stretcher. The paramedics thought that it was a heart attack, but they were not 100% sure, and so they had to rush Fred over to the hospital, as fast as possible, so that then once in the hospital, they could take a large sample of blood from Fred's arm, and then using this blood, they could send it then to a quick test, because the doctors wanted to know immediately, is it a heart attack or is it something else? Mm -hmm. Following this, Fred received his treatment. Uh, the doctors, the surgeons were able to treat him, to put a stent in his heart, to present, prevent uh, the blockage, and then he was very happy to be able to recover in uh, the intensive care unit. Meanwhile, Fred had to get a second test done because this test was not precise enough. So they had to take his blood and send it to a centralized clinical lab and then wait at least an hour in order to get more data about his condition. And then following this, Fred has to get new tests done every few hours and every, every few days during his recovery uh, after his heart attack. There's an existing trade-off between the different technologies that are used for diagnosing heart disease and diagnosing uh, problems uh, based on blood right now. You can get very quick results, but they're not of very high quality, or you can get uh, high quality results, but they tend to take a lot of time to obtain. So we ask ourselves, do we still need to get a large quantity of blood, or can we do the analysis with a single drop? Do we still need to spend a lot of money to have very expensive equipment, or can we do it with affordable equipment that is, uh, can be bought by anyone and can be used by a patient at home? Do we need a lot of time? Do we need hours or days before we get the results? Or can we obtain the results within a few minutes, within 10 minutes? Do we need very heavy equipment that can only be used in centralized laboratories in hospitals? Or can we have portable equipment that can be used anywhere? And finally, do we need trained users uh, that have been shown how to use the equipment, uh, this very complicated equipment, or can we have an equipment that is extremely easy to use that anybody can use? And this is what we've developed. So the One Drop Diagnostics product is composed of first a drop of blood that is inserted onto a cartridge and this cartridge is then inserted into a reader that can then quantify dozens of different biomarkers within 10 minutes. And so the next time that Fred, poor Fred, has a heart attack because this time the US dollar reaches an all-time low, <laughs> then we hope that the paramedics can come very quickly to the bank and can also take him out of his office, but then obtain the results immediately because they will have the one-drop diagnostics device. And so they will be able to obtain high-quality, laboratory-quality results, send these results to the hospital, the operating room will be ready for Fred as soon as he arrives, and his treatment will be much better, and his chances of survival from this heart attack will also be dramatically increased.
And so we hope that Fred can cheat death many times and that he can enjoy a happy life in the future and a very healthy lifestyle as well. All right, we are Scala Nico. We already had one Nico from the clan Nico here. <laughs> and now is Alain, one of the board members. Oh, en français. Tu fais en français, anglais? Tu comprends le français? Oui, je parle en français. Oui. Well, well, I'll do it in English. Since you did your presentation in English, so sorry to, to invade. The, the, the clan is invading you, so I'm very apologetic for that. I'd like to thank you for various things, too. I think the first thing I'd like to thank you for is to choosing our country as your, the host country for your project. Mm -hmm. I mean, the world is yours. You could be in the US, you could be in Canada, you could be elsewhere, if you chose Switzerland. And I think this is a great example of the merit of this country. We always talk about becoming the Silicon Valley or whatever of Europe. And I think the big trick for us is to be able to welcome people like you. I mean, they will make the difference. If you look at the Silicon Valley, no, none of the, the entrepreneurs, the great entrepreneurs we, we heard, who we hear about, were born there. They were all imported. And I think the same applies to here. So thank you for being here. Um, thank you for a second thing. Uh, you're a typical proof that to have a disruptive idea, uh, you need to have all kinds of different skills. And I, I tried to memorize your CV and I didn't make it because <laughs> You did so many studies of different types of electronics, of IT, of microfluidics, and etc., etc. And I think it's through that incredible diversity that you managed to come with that great disruptive idea. And we all know that innovation needs disruption. So thank you for that example that you're giving us. And thank you for also maybe saving our lives. I'm getting to an age where you know it becomes a little bit easier. <laughs> thank you very much. to the board for selecting us in the jury. We really appreciate it. We think this will help us to go forward with our product. Thank you. Okay.